All right. All right. Uh, uh, Dior Demi is a former publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, Dior Demi, please stay with us uh, so we take you into the next uh, 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 topic. Well, the federal government, through the Minister of Information, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, has raised alarm over an alleged threat by the People's Democratic Party to organize another uh, ANSARS protest. Uh, Mohammed said the opposition party is planning to overheat the polity and sabotage the administration of President Muhammad Buhari, describing the People's Democratic Party as a desperate and hungry opposition. Mohammed urged the party to wait for the 2023 elections to test its popularity. The minister noted that the plan of the main opposition party was to overheat the polity, distort Buhari's achievements, and misinform. Nigerian said, so, "Dear Amy, I, I don't, I don't uh, expect you to agree uh, with um, uh, uh, Al Haji Lai Mohammed there, um, but I mean, is, is the PDP the right, the right uh, uh, authority, the right group to call Nigerians out to protest against something similar to the ANSARS protests?" There are two ways to look, you know, at this uh, situation or the question. During PDP era, there are pictorial evidences that both President Buhari, Lai Mohammed, and the likes of them staged protests against PDP to Nigerians, trying to blackmail PDP. And they really worked because Nigerians took them serious. If they are now alleging that PDP is planning another end start, the question is, was BDP the party that planned the first one that happened in this country? And the, 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 the purpose of the NSAS protest, as the government met the requirements of these youths, has there been any promise made that has been fulfilled? They are only running away from their shadow. And at times when they dish out this kind of an information, you ask them, you are in government. You have all the government apparatus with you. You have the security agencies with you. You are in control. Why can't you make arrest if your investigation proves that PDP or the personality in PDP are planning another answer? I think when information like this comes out, you have to look at the messenger who is giving the information. Of course, like Mohammed is doing the job is being played for, is paid for. And at times, even psychologically, if you see Baba Lai Muhammad speaking, you will see that he's saying the, uh, the direct opposite of what is the reality on ground and what he knows. But in their usual character, in their belief that it's only through propaganda, through lies, that they can sustain this government, they will continue to talk like this to Nigerians, forgetting that Nigerians are not fools. Nigerians are recording it. They will get their answer in 2023. And Nigeria will, redes will redefine their destiny in 2023. Mm. It is sooner than, uh, you know, later. All right. Uh, so so uh, what, what, what are the things that, I mean, happened in the NSAS protests? Uh, one of the things that have been said, rather, about the NSAS protests is that um, um, even the People's Democratic Party was a part of the problem. Uh, the police brutality didn't start today. So I'd like to know what your party has done in the past to end police brutality. Uh, Mr. Dero Odemi, what has the PDP when done are, in the past to, to end you, police brutality and ensure, and ensure asking, justice for Nigerians? When you keep asking what has PDP done in the past, are you talking of the past of yesterday, of uh, last year, of a year before? We no, are talking your, your, of your, seven your years. Let's PDP has won on the, door. the APC that, um, that if care is not taken, there are going to be protests uh, and you're calling Nigerians out to do to organize protests to be part of a protest that is similar to the NSAS protests and all that. So I'm saying, let's look at the NSAS. You are talking about that. So let's look at that for a, a moment. The issue of police brutality, which drew a lot of Nigerian youth out. What had the PDP done in the past, even when in opposition to end police brutality and ensure justice for victims? The issue of police brutality was not pronounced and was not as bad as during APC time. And that is why during PDP era, there was no protest of that, uh, of that nature. So what you are now saying is, people, this NSAS protest emanated from police brutality during APC era. You cannot point to a single day when there was this kind of protest 
during PDP era. So it's nowhere. And it happened and it started during APC time. And what we are now saying is, what have they done to address the issue raised during this NSAS uh, protest? So there, there is no basis for, com com for comparison. Simply because seven years ago, this issue did not occur at all. It is the creation of APC, which was protested against by Nigeria. And if, again, there is any plan to stage another protest, of course, they, are, they, are, they, they have the opportunity to check that, rather than raise unnecessary alarm that you know, PDP is planning uh, another protest. We, we don't have time for that. We are still battling to, you know, about who is going to, be, to fly our flag. Where we still have the issue of campaign, we still have the issue of organizing ourselves and setting up a proper strategy through which we want to win election. So what concerns all that? We say Nigerians are sovereign, and there is no, they don't have the solution. And the best thing they could do to sustain themselves in office is to accuse whoever and everybody about what they know is the plan of Nigeria. So, so are you saying that the People's Democratic Party? is not interested in leading or organizing or being a part of any protests on the state of affairs in the country as we speak? We have every, we have every reason and justification to do it if we want to do it. And I'm not saying we cannot do it or we will not do it. But what I'm saying is, are PDP members not Nigerians? So if Nigerians decide to protest against the government uh, that is not putting smiles on their faces, why must you now accuse PDP? And if you are accusing PDP, you have the information, make some arrests and prevent it from not happening. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, th there was a, a report that some security agencies in the country uh, were monitoring three governors uh, for allegedly having a sinister plan. They had, had a meeting and they alleged to have had a, a sinister plan to, to instigate protests uh, in the north, in the south, and uh, I think in the, uh, in the south-south as well as in the in the southeast or southwest, I need to be sure. But no, in the north, in the central, and in the south, south, yes. And what was said was that uh, th uh, these governors, three of them, were being monitored by uh, the nation's security agencies. They were placed under security watch. As a matter of fact, they were said to have had a meeting where they laid out plans to, to instigate or foment uh, a crisis in the country, starting with the north. And we, we're told that we have uh, a, a very vocal governor in the south, south, who is organizing this? Three governors from the opposition, PDP. So if the security authorities or security agencies have such information that they are actually trying to instigate something, they've placed these governors uh, under security watch, then probably Lai Mohammed knows what he's talking about. These are damning and serious allegations that constitute a threat to the entity called Nigeria. And if the minister a high-ranking officer of Nigeria and is making this kind of an allegation. I would liken it to a coup. If you know some people are planning coup, I think what the military does in most times is to arrest and mop up the, the planners. You don't wait for them until, you know, the coup is, uh, you know, is executed. So if you have information about these governors, what are you waiting for? Even if you are not ready to make arrests, let us know them and stop, stop this uh, blackmail of three governors, you know, south, north, everywhere. Make an arrest and let's see what's going to happen. And I want to tell you, APC has a system. Whatever it is they are planning to do, they first, you know, pronounce it and make it a kind of an information to Nigerians. Maybe they are seeing these governors, I don't know, maybe they are seeing them as a threat, you know, towards the... Uh, they are rigging machinery in 2023. And they think the best thing they can do is just to blackmail them or rope some things, you know, on their neck and get them arrested. If that is the plan, I will advise them to desist because Nigerians are not fools. Right. And we are stuck in a situation that if you don't have concrete evidence to arrest anybody or to substantiate this claim, please don't throw Nigeria into confusion. Hands up and admit that you are not capable of governing Nigeria again instead of using propaganda against, you know, uh, individuals in PDP. Uh, dear Odebi, Al-Hajjilai Mohammed was specific by saying that um, 
the People's Democratic Party who are you know, complaining about the state of affairs in the country and warning the Buhari administration that there might be protests akin to the uh, ANSAS protests, that the People's Democratic Party itself laid the foundation for the misery that the nation is going through or for the sufferings of Nigerians uh, uh, right now. And they're saying that, you know, that what the People's Democratic Party, the opposition party, is doing at the moment is gloating, is gloating that Nigerians are suffering under the present administration. Uh, meanwhile, you and your party were the ones who, um, you know, looted and, and ripped the nation and left with, you know, the nation in a precarious situation, which has led to what we have today. So he said you laid the foundation for the suffering of Nigerians you know, when you went I'm out. happy. I'm happy that one of their cardinal points when they came into uh, office is to fight corruption. If they are accusing PDP of bleeding the country, of looting the country of resources, the question is, the last seven years, how many Nigerians have been jailed of PDP origin? Instead, what we see is that they are playing politics with it and they are just mounting it. If and if you know you have embezzled money in this country, all what you need to do is just to cross over to APC. All your sins are forgiven. How many of them are going through trials now? Even the new chairman that was just chosen through consensus has 149 cases against, uh, you know, has, he has 149 cases with ESCC. And what, what are we saying? If this is the government that says, yes, we are fighting corruption, what have they done with the likes of Femi Kaffa? No, the, 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 the man has not been accused, has not been charged or, or you know, been found guilty, rather, of any of these 149 cases. For seven years that they have been in government, I'm asking a cogent question. How many Nigerians were they able to jail if indeed they want to establish the fact that PDP as a government looted Nigeria? Uh, Lai, Lai Mohammed, so how long will they continue yeah. to blame PDP? Lai Mohammed, you know, he talked about the fact that from 1999 to 2015, uh, the years which your party was in power, uh, that you derived the country of the full benefits of the oil windfall at a time of rising prices. So, you know, like we say in, in journalism, you're as good as your last presentation. Um, when the PDP was leaving power under good luck, Jonathan. The records are there to show that uh, the windfall from the, the, the excess uh, uh, crude oil earnings were nowhere to be found. I shake my head for, you know, for people who believe what they are saying. And I, I, I will continue to repeat it. Nigerians are not stupid. They know what, they, 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 know, they know the truth. I still continue to ask that question. If you believe that PDP or during PDP administration, the funds were looted. My brother, look, uh, the issue of uh, uh, what is his name again? Who was accused? Um, uh, uh, oh, I forgot him. The issue of corruption in this country. I continue to say it. If you have evidences against individuals in PDP, what have what has been done to bring them to book and let them let, let them be an example you know to, to to future generations i don't understand honestly i don't understand it's giving me serious headache because what you are now saying is yes pdp looted the country and for the past seven years we could not get it right is that an excuse is that a statement that should come from a serious government Okay, uh, in, in costing home with this, uh, Mr. Dirodemi, I want to ask you again, uh, what will the People's Democratic Party, if it wrestles back power from the All Progressives Congress in 2023, do differently to set Nigeria on, on a right footing, on a path to recovery? We are going to do a lot of things differently. For instance? And just like I said, yeah, having for, been for, out for of instance, government for almost eight years, we are going to improve the situation of uh security how sir? in this country we have how? our master plan how? i'm not bound to disclose it what, and just what, like what, you what, have what, what, what is in the master have... plan mr day i mean I mean, there's nothing yeah. that you you will still end up disclosing it is there a master plan uh, for security what is in security master plan sir because some of the states that I'm are not... 
are going through insecurity uh, right now, are, are governed by members of your party. So what's in the master plan? The master plan cannot be disclosed in the open now. We are talking about security issues. And what I'm saying is, as a serious political party, we have gone wide and far to see how we can solve this problem when we get to office because we know that is one of the cardinal things that is going to that is going to be recorded for us Mr. when Dave, we get to are office. You, are you saying so that, is, are you saying that your, Mr. Yes. Dave, are you saying your party has has a solution to the the security situation in the country but you don't want to prefer those solutions till nigerians vote you into power in other words you're hoarding information that's what you're saying. That when, we get, when we get to the bridge, we know how to cross <laughs> may it. Potentially so we are still say, going, we are still going to sir, campaign. You, you are saying that you, you have information and a plan that may potentially save lives. But you're not going to suggest this to the federal government. You don't even suggest it to your state governors. You're going to hoard it and wait to see if Nigerians will vote you into power. Is, is, is that a, a fair thing to do? For a party Everybody that says it cares, has their own cares so much about Nigerians. Which, Every political party do have their own strategy through which they want to win elections. So for you, it's all about winning elections, every, not, not helping every, Nigeria. Of course. If they come to us for advice, we will, we will offer the advice. But you can, you, you, you know, be making you, statements. You, know, you, 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 you can make statements. I know where you are going. I know where you are going. You can make statements. What you, are now, what you want to put well, across you're, you're, you're saying that, that all you, you want to do is win elections. That's what you're saying. Not to help Nigeria. Telling, so the information you have, you won't release it until Nigerians vote you in. We don't have the power. We are not in government. We don't have that authority to tell them that this is how to do it. But you can, and of you course, can they put to us, they put to us running the election that they have the means, they have the way we talk to do it. So why are you now telling us, you know, that we are not in government to come and, you know, solve the problems of security? By the time we told them that, the security personnel, that is the chief of army staff, the air, the air force, and everything, while well, you know, have a suspect, whatever is the strategy, they know they can, they can, they can subdue uh, terrorism. Did they listen to us? No, they did not. But I only changed them at the time he thought, yes, I, you know, I, it's not time for me to do it. So whatever advice you give to a deaf man, he will continue to do what he wants to do. What, so we don't what, 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 which, of this, which of these strategies have you been able to suggest to your, your state governors in states that have had insecurity in the southeast, in the south south, in the middle belt, in Benue State? Have you have you suggested some of these strategies to Samuel or Tom so that at least he can he can he can stop complaining about insecurity for now? Have you suggested any of these strategies? To any of these people if you look at the composition of the security ag architecture of this country no governor has that power over security issues in their domain okay. and the whole thing it goes you know starts from the federal level it's being controlled by the president and that is why we are agitating to have you know our own independent security outfit which br which brought the issue of our in the in the in the in the south and if you compare the number of atrocities or criminality in the South, you will agree with me that it has reduced to the barest minimum on like what is happening in the North. So they don't have that power. It's the federal government that has the absolute power to say, yes, this is the direction we want security to go. Thank you very much. Uh, Dear Odeme is a former Deputy Publicity Secretary of the Opposition People's Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Odeme, it's been a thrill having you. Thank you for your patience and for your time. Thank you very much for having me. And that's the size of a package tonight on Plus Politics. I'm Kofi Patel. Thank you for watching. We return tomorrow.